The Speaker of Iran's parliament on Saturday toured the scene of an Israeli airstrike in Beirut that killed and wounded dozens, vowing that Tehran would keep supporting Lebanese and Palestinians in fighting against Israel. Mohammad Bagher Kalabaf visited the area struck Saturday after holding talks with caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikadi, who said that Lebanon's priority now was to work toward a ceasefire. His office said that Lebanon's government still abides by a 2006 UN Security Council resolution approved at the end of a 34-day war between Israel and Hezbollah and was prepared to boost Lebanese army presence along the country's border with Israel. It was the second visit by an Iranian official to Beirut in recent days after the country's foreign minister visited Lebanon earlier this month. Iran is a main backer of Lebanon's Hezbollah group that suffered major setbacks in recent weeks on top of it the killing of its leader Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah started attacking Israeli army posts in October last year and since September 23, Israel intensified its airstrikes forcing the displacement of hundreds of thousands of people. Last week, Israel began a ground invasion of Lebanon leading to clashes along the Lebanon-Israel border with Hezbollah fighters. Russian President Vladimir Putin met Iran's president on Friday at a time when Tehran is supplying weapons for Moscow's fighting in Ukraine and concerns are growing over escalating attacks between Israel and Iran and its militant allies. Putin and Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian discussed the situation in the Middle East on the sidelines of an international forum in the Turkmen capital, Ashgabat, Russian state media said. Moscow and Tehran signed a $1.7 billion deal for Iran to export drones to Russia after Putin launched his so-called special military operation in Ukraine in 2022, and the US also believes it has transferred short-range ballistic missiles. Both countries were accused this week by Ken McCallum, the head of Britain's domestic intelligence agency MI5, of carrying out a staggering rise in attempts at assassination sabotage and other crimes on UK soil. McCallum said his agents and police have tackled 20 potentially lethal plots backed by Iran since 2022 and warned that it could expand its targets in the UK if conflicts in the Middle East deepen. During the two presidents meeting, Putin told Pazeshkian that Moscow and Tehran's positions on international events are close. Relations with Iran are a priority for us, and they are developing very successfully, Putin said. We actively work together in the international arena, and our assessments of current events in the world are often very close. He also invited the Iranian leader to visit Russia and Pazeshkian accepted. God willing, 
we will also participate in the BRICS summit, and the documents that will have to be signed there, we will do everything for the signing of these documents," Pazeshkian said. Сложная и Америка, и Европа.